All right, hey guys. Today we are going to talk about how to enter developer mode on your Oculus Go. And this is actually just the first video of a series of videos that I am going to do showing you how to get the most out of your Go. Now, the Go is awesome right out of the box. I, I love it, but there is just so much more that you can do with this device once you kind of know what it is. Um, a lot of it is centered around the Oculus TV app. Uh, and just, it's like imagine having like a 150 inch Android tablet. That's what it's like. You can run all sorts of other games and apps. Um, Netflix offline viewing, which you don't get with the built-in or the Netflix VR version of the app. Uh, Amazon uh, Prime Video, that's another good example. Uh, you can't get Amazon Prime Video with this uh, as it stands now, uh, but I'll show you how to do that later. Offline viewing with the Amazon videos. Uh, same thing with uh, YouTube. YouTube did just release the YouTube a VR app for this, uh, but there's no way to change accounts, offline viewing, you're stuck with just the one main sign-in account, some people have multiple accounts they wanna change around. We'll be able to show you how to do that uh, later in another video. Um, there's a ton you can do with this, and we will go through that throughout this series of videos. But this video today is all about putting your Go into developer mode, and that is the first step to achieving all the cool stuff that we're gonna do with this. And putting your device into developer mode is easy, it's actually really, really easy. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna click on the link in the description down below and that will take you to Oculus, Oculus's website. And now, this is where you're gonna go and we'll bring up a, a little screenshot here. It's gonna take you to this page and you're gonna wanna click on log in and now you're gonna use, if you logged in with Facebook, just go ahead and click continue with Facebook. If you logged in with uh, email, and this is the, the what you logged in to set up your go with. So however you set up your go, whatever your account is under, uh, for me we're gonna do email right here. So we'll go ahead and enter in our username and password. We're gonna click sign in. And if you've already signed into the Oculus website, it'll just take you directly to this page right here and it says create new organization. Now, nobody's ever gonna see this. You're not actually a developer more than likely, so you're, you're not gonna be publishing titles. Nobody's gonna see the name of the organization. So it can be whatever you want. Um, whoops, I uh, don't know what that is, whoops. Let's go back here, okay, so Bob's um, Oculus. There we go, so we're just gonna click Bob's Oculus right there and then click Submit, and then that's it. You are done on the PC side of things. Super quick and simple. Next, you're gonna wanna go to, and we'll bring this up, your uh, Oculus Companion app on your phone. So this is what it's gonna look like right here if you're connected. Make sure that you're connected to your Go. You want that there. So we can see that the Oculus Go here is connected. And then you're gonna click on More Settings right here. And then you're gonna see that there is now Developer Mode. So click on Developer Mode and just click to toggle it on. That's it, you're done. So, so simple. From there on out, you're gonna be able to sideload um, apps onto this and really open up a world of fun and usefulness on your go. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments below. Uh, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're into this type of stuff. Thanks, bye.